Darwin glass. What is it? Why is it? And where is it? Darwin glass is an impact type. It was formed when a meteorite 50 meters wide slammed into the earth 850,000 years ago. The result of the impact melted the local rock and meteorite into liquid form. The liquid cooled rapidly in flight, forming twisted, rope-like curls, depositing as transparent solids around the surrounding impact site. So where can you find this ancient treasure? Like most things epic, right here in Tasmania. The impact site is known as Darwin's Crater. And that's exactly where we're heading today. Too many days up here like this, I can tell you. For a place that rains over 300 days of the year, this is a pretty good day. Have a look at that view right there. So sick. All right, so I'm standing on 10 Mile Hill, which in the initial reports is where the uh, the Darwin glass was first found. Uh, this is on the western side of Kelly Basin Road. The crater is actually on the eastern side of Kelly Basin Road down and across a couple of kilometers where well, you can hike into the crater uh, it takes a couple of hours from what i've read it's not really that good of an experience it's very boggy uh, super overgrown you don't even know when you're in the crater it's just an all-around bad experience so i thought well i don't really have time to do that today i'm just going to try and find the glass so i've come to 10 mile hill i'm going to go on the eastern side of the slope uh, where i drove up just before <coughs> get my mountain goat style on and see if I can't go through some of the eroded gravels there and possibly come up across uh, possibly come up across a piece of glass to take home all right I know this is probably gonna be the laziest and easiest place to check on the side of the road but you never know I seriously have no idea where to begin looking. Like, surely on top of bedrock is a good start, but I mean, it's just scrub up there. I need to find a different spot, I think. All right, so, looks a little more promising than I initially thought when I parked my car. Although I think this is an old track or something. But still, at least I'm penetrating into the hill. So I'm currently sitting on 320 meters elevation. According to the report, the glass stops appearing at around 400. So I might try and veer off this track soon. It's so thick though. Like how am I meant to get through any of this stuff safely? I don't know whether to check these type of gravels. I mean, I'm scouring the ground as I walk, but obviously finding nothing. <laughs> It's a weird one. Frenchman's cap over there. 20 k's away. This track's pretty wild. Rock climbing. All right, I'm going off the track. Let's see if we can find something along here. Oh, 
It's a rock. It's a sign that there might be more rocks. So just keep looking. Shore is tight around here. I'm at the top of the hill. The hunt is hard. The ground's all like this. It's got this kind of seaweedy layer over the top of it. There's nothing really exposed. I don't know. There's a creek which runs parallel to Kelly Basin Road, which if I don't find anything here, I might go and check that. I would assume that the rocks would make their way into the water. The glass would make its way into the water. Uh, so it might be easier found in a creek, maybe. But I would have thought someone would have discovered that already, rather than this strategy of the eastern facing slopes, which are, well, as you can see, pretty heavily forested. Like, you just, you just can't get in. There's no way. And even when you do get in, and it gets a little bit clear, the ground's still the same as out here. There's no exposed rocks. So I don't know. You would think if there was anywhere to look, it'd have to be somewhere like this. So we've got like granite bedrock, heaps of loose gravels on top, but still can't even find a tiny little piece of it. Like not even something this size. I don't know. It's a mystery to me. I would have thought it'd be in these gravels here too. Pretty rare stuff, I think. Okay, the creek should be right about here. Let's see if this is possible. Doesn't look super inviting. Jesus. So this is hardly anything like I expected it to be either. Um, I hear some stuff here. What is that? Charcoal? Yeah. This looks like a bit of an old truck through here.
Surely, surely there's some Darwin glass washed up in this creek. This looks like a pretty good part of the creek to prospect. I'm just gotta deal with this overburden and we'll be sweet. Why are you so hard to find? <sighs> You're kidding. I think that's a piece. I think that is a piece of Darwin glass. Yep. Super dark. It's a little bit transparent. I'll have to show you on the other camera. Wow, so you can just find it on the top like that. Like that was just sitting there somewhere on the surface. That's gotta be it, right? What else could it be? Mind you, Looks like it's got sand or something in it. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard like glass. Crazy. Piece, a piece of the elusive Darwin glass. Maybe I should have a bigger, a better look around here then. I was literally just on my way out. Now, just out of interest, I want to see how this piece of Darwin glass stratifies, whether it sinks with this material or whether it rises to the top. So I'll stick it on the top there, hopefully I don't lose it. And then I'll shake this material in the water and we'll see what it does. Because this might explain why I'm not finding any but this one piece. I'll put it there, so that's going to be at the top. doesn't look like it's a sinker which is interesting it must be lighter than the quartz but still so hard to find unless everyone else has come through and picked them all up that's probably the case and I mean this should move in water because it's flat and has quite a nice size to it as well. Oh, this water is so cold. I don't know. I'm sticking with the theory that I was right and just checking on creeks is probably a good, uh, good way to do it. But um, you've kind of got to be in there before everyone else. So probably after floods in winter, when the river levels start, to, when they, the river levels start to drop, is probably the best time to look for it because there'll be new supplies and um, a good chance of finding it. Won't be making that mistake again. Here's a close up guys. 
you can see it's really smooth on this side and this side there's a lot of um, detail heaps of air bubbles I'm so amazed by this iPhone 11 Pro's camera it's insane but yeah it's just a tiny little piece really but I guess today was a bit of a success because of this one piece So it's cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Well, I got a long ride home, guys. So that's about it for me today. This has just been a quick little day trip to take advantage of the wonderful West Coast weather, and it has not disappointed. Something so satisfying about the sun down here. Beautiful. Anyway, I got some overnight trips coming up. So stay tuned.